Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install E4MC for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is go ahead and go to your web browser and once you're here you simply want to go to your search bar and you want to go ahead and search for a website called ModRinth. Once you enter, you should see modernf.com. Simply go ahead and click on the modernf name, and this will bring you to the modernf homepage. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content, and then go down to mods. Once you're done, simply go ahead and click search mods, and type in E4MC. Once you're this, you will see E4MC here, and all you want to do is simply go ahead and click versions. Once you're done, you should simply see that we have a couple versions and we can select our game version. So we do game version and we select the Minecraft game version we want. So we'll just be using the latest Minecraft version. And here we have a choice for Fabric or Neoforge. We will just be using Fabric. Okay. Once we're done, we simply need to click on the Fabric name here of the version and we see that we need to get ourselves Fabric API. To get to Fabric API, simply go ahead and click on the name of Fabric API, little box here, and you just go to the versions tab. Then you just go to game versions and select the same game version as E4MC. Then we just go ahead and click the latest release for that version. So 1.8.4, it will always be for Fabric, and it is the latest one release, if you have one of course. Once you're done, you simply want to go ahead and go to a new tab, and you want to go ahead and get yourself Fabric Minecraft, like so. Once you're done, you'll see Fabric here, FabricMC.net. Simply click on the Fabric link, and this will be new to the Fabric homepage. Now, simply click the blue download button, and then go to download for Windows. Okay. Once you're done, you'll see Fabric Installer here, that .exe. So, you can just close your web browser and open up your downloads folder. Once you're done, just make sure that you have Fabric installed here and just double click it. And you can select your Minecraft version. We'll just be doing the latest one as this is the same as for E4MC and Fabric API. Once you're done, just do install, OK and close. And you can now go to your Minecraft launcher. We need to do this to add E4MC and Fabric API to the mods folder. To do so, simply wait for the Minecraft launcher to load up. Here you should see Fabric Loader. If you do, go to installations, hover over this loader here, and go to the folder icon. Once you're this, you should see a mods folder here somewhere. Just go ahead and double click that. You should be in the mods folder. Simply go to your downloads folder, select and copy Fabric API and E4MC, and go to the top left arrow, click that, and click paste. What we done here, we just copy pasted. E4MC and Fabric API in the Minecraft mods folder. That's it. Okay, once you're done, simply go to your Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and then click play. Okay, so once Minecraft has loaded up, all you want to do is simply, well, go to a world. E4MC lets you play, uh, lets you basically make other people join your world using LAN, and that will just be single player worlds. So, we will just go to a single player world here. And once we are in a single player world, all you want to do here is quite simple. You simply want to go to escape, open to LAN. He can choose the game modes for the other players. On or off for the commands. And you can do start LAN world. Here you're gonna have the default Minecraft thing. And you're also going to have something new, which is the E4MC. If we click this and paste it, this is what people need to put in the servers to join. So you go to join server, you put this in, and people will be able to join. So if we go ahead and go to like Minecraft server status or something, you should see some websites. I'll just put this one in the description, why not? And if you paste this in and go to submit, you should see something interesting. There you go. Here we have the link that people need to add to the servers, the port, our little world icon, our player name, the world name, 
in our version as well as who is on the server right now. So yeah, that is how we use E4MC for Minecraft Java. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!